Community, and particularly community connections in nature. During the COVID-19 pandemic, I was really particularly concerned with regards to my own mental health. I knew, <clears throat> I knew by having to stay within the house and not having the ability to socialize, to communicate, to connect with people was really going to deflate me. And had the potential to really, to really, um, to really affect uh, my mental health. And I, I became quite concerned in that. And I realized that I needed to do something about it. Consequently, I started a three participation group. And I used my own experiences of sport, in particular Muay Thai, uh, to provide a workout on the beach. And I, I knew I was getting on, and I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to compete. All I'm trying to do is uh, connect with people socialize and um, <clears throat> create a sense of community where people could talk, keep fit and connect with nature in a community setting. And they were the things that I thought beach boxing could deliver. And then what I also removed was I also ensured that there was no contact because I wanted people to feel confident about turning up. My experience has been that everyone ever took a set of pads with me even at a business meeting, and I said, um, do you want to let a bit of steam up? Everyone says, oh yeah, I've always wanted to have a little go of that. And I, and I just took that as an idea. So nothing competitive, no contact, no clinch. It was just a simple way of uh, connecting with the pads, going through technique, above all, connecting with people, but not physically connecting with one another creating fitness, exercise, most importantly, mobility. Because although I was interested in the cardiovascular, I was more interested in the mobility <clears throat> and, and, and stretching. And I've brought those elements to it. So when you come to it, you feel as if you've had a, a, a workout, but you're not going away totally exhausted. You've just done enough. So you feel comfortable so you can continue with your day and they form really strong uh, if you like, uh, essences of what uh, the free beach boxing uh, connections community in nature was all about so with a view to connecting people that felt isolated within the community beach boxing free at the point of delivery came about when i was able to use all my experience, my talents of 45 years, being certified as a crew instructor by the Thai government Ministry of Education. And of course, working out on the beach was absolutely fantastic. We're connecting with nature and we're breathing in fresh air. And we had all the extra benefits that sport provides. There was the fitness, coordination, focus, mobility, as well as youth skills being learned and shared with one another. And as a consequence, a new community arose. And our Facebook group is getting bigger and bigger. And at this moment in time, we're just under 230 members. Of that, we have a regular sort of 25 to 30 that will participate on a regular basis within the activity of the group. Most important, we came as individuals, but we're now a team. We are a team that supports one another. And although we have a workout maybe 45 to 50 minutes, <clears throat> what's great, we go for a cup of coffee afterwards. And the cup of coffee often goes on for over an hour where we chat, share things that are happening within our life. And I think that is just as important as the actual activity session that went on an hour earlier. And that's because people get a chance to share things, build relationships, trust one another. We are social creatures and it provides for that within us all. So since 2020, beach boxing has been going strong in New Brighton. And, and, and they keep me going strong because there's some been times I've been like, oh, the weather's not looking too good. And then on the phone to me and say, well, actually, John, we don't think it's that bad. And, and sometimes they've motivated me. So believe you and I, it is a two-way street, the whole thing, and it's just been a great and fantastic experience. And during the summer months, you will find us on Crosby Beach, 
And since 2023, we've introduced beach boxing ramblers. And what, what that intends to do is uh, we try and make it a little bit differently. So yet we go on a walk, not in the same place, <clears throat> because I'm a great believer uh, the environment can motivate us, can, can inspire us, and changing the environment brings about different experiences and hopefully <clears throat> triggers different forms of inspiration within you. And that's exactly what we try to do. And during the walks, we'll stop and we will stretch a little bit. So we try and do things that are slightly a, a little bit different just to make you think, but what we're getting you out and we are connecting with nature. Above all, we are building that community. But as in the beach boxing, same goes for beach boxing ramblers. After the session, we all go for a good coffee. And, and that coffee often lasts longer than the session itself. <clears throat> but I say this time and time again. That's the strength of the community. That's the chance where people really get to talk and share things with one another. Things that are impacting their lives. And, you know, it's not so much the advice or the talk. It's the ability just to listen. And I think that's one of the greatest senses of community that, uh, that's come out of beach boxing, Ramblers. And you can find this group now on... Um, on you know, my Facebook group, if you look at uh, John Bullock uh, Facebook or Pain Point Coach on Facebook, and then you look for uh, Beach Boxing Ramblers, y y you'll find the Facebook group. I'm, I'm pleased to join it and join our community, connect with like minded people that want to help one another and build this community. Look forward to seeing you.